Hi, I'm Dr. Divya Vadhavan. I'm an infertility and a laparoscopic surgeon. I'm attached to various hospitals like Apollo Cradle, Fortis La Farm, and uh, Trident Hospital. And I have my own center in Kalkaji. It's called the Narang Medical Center. I would want to speak to you about infertility and what you can do at home so that you get pregnant before you come and see us. A Harvard study uh, was done on 19,000 women where they said that only by reduction in the animal fat in the the trans proteins and the carbohydrates improved your fertility rate by increasing your ovulation so what you can do in your diet is uh, initially is include a lot of fruits and vegetables especially watermelon and asparagus what that does is improves the glutathione in the diet improves the fertility something like kale will mimic the estrogen metabolism hence improving fertility anything from vegetable juices uh, goji berries any kind of vegetable juices are very healthy they are very rich sources of phytochemicals which help your fertility what about fats uh, plant-based fats are a big yes but animal based fats are a big no they decrease the fertility rates uh, anything from plant fats like nuts olive oil grape seed oils they decrease the inflammation in the body hence improve the fertility whatever is processed fat uh, what, whatever comes in pre pre-cooked food uh, french fries margarine are a big no uh, complex carbohydrates are a big yes but whatever is processed carbohydrates like a cakes cookies white breads what they do is they increase the glucose in the diet uh, in the circulation and what they do is an increase in insulin hence uh, which causes uh, the decrease in ovulation uh, hampers the ovulation and also causes an hormonal imbalance but what a processed uh, carbohydrate does is just the opposite of what a complex carbohydrate does it releases the glucose and the insulin gradually which which is okay with the body and the hormones react to it very nicely you have to decrease your white rice content and also your pasta content uh, include a lot of bajra jawar millets in your diet uh, proteins again a big yes to plant proteins plant proteins can be lentils can be uh, let be beans can be uh, tofu uh, paneer which is a big yes but infertility was detected in 39 percent from animal uh, animal proteins a big no to red meat a uh, fish you can heat especially cold water fish tuna salmon sardines they also improve the sperm quality dairy a big surprise is the less and the non low fat diet is a big no dairy products but the one with the full fat has a better uh, result for your fertility sugars processed sugars they affect both the insulin uh, metabolism and the hormonal imbalance hence and also the has a negative effect on the cortisol circulation so a big no on the uh, sugars uh, what is a good sugar will be something like a honey or a maple syrup add that into your food caffeine uh, less than 200 micrograms of caffeine is allowed uh, caffeine has two negative effects w once it affects the musculature of the fallopian tubes which pumps in the egg and second is it also has a negative effect on the cervical mucus fluid because it is a diuretic and causes dehydration soya protein is a good source only if it is taken in its natural form but if it's in a processed form it affects the estrogen and hence also converts the estrogen into testosterone even men can improve their fertility with diet uh, seafood is a very good source of uh, zinc vitamin b12 uh, oysters excellent source of uh, zinc uh, then you have uh, things like brazilian nuts which are great in selenium uh, asparagus and sun uh, sunflower seeds they're a great source of keeping up your testosterone keeping up the testosterone levels but uh, high intake of dairy products does affect the estrogen effect uh, estrogen levels other than diet there is sleep which is very important eight hours of good sleep uh, a positive attitude lot of sunshine sunshine helps the vitamin d3 vitamin d3 helps your estrogen and your progesterone levels to be at a high exercise has a huge role five percent reduction in the weight loss keeps the estrogen levels at at a normal level especially in pcos patients they must be advised to lose weight 
eat a gluten gluten free free diet because that also affects the inflammation inflammatory process by increasing the crps uh, intercourse two to three times a week keeps the sperm motility uh, good sperm motility you must keep an ovulation diary uh, no tea coffee alcohol um, 20 in a 28 day cycle your 10 and 17th uh, between your 10 to 17 day is a good time for your fertility uh, no to painkillers because they affect the hormones that if in turn uh, they affect the ovulation so never take too much of painkillers when you're trying to conceive no to laptops especially to men uh, it's also seen that uh, a cold water bath improves the sperm motility and the sperm quality and drink a lot of water because that helps in a lot of uh, that helps in the blood circulation and hence good hormone secreting in your body and of course keep the smile on and uh, start with all this and it's seen that 15 to 20 percent patients just improve by just a lifestyle modification other than that you're most welcome to come and see us or i'm ready to take any questions thank you